Hello from the mythical Sparta in Greece, dear road trip lovers, and let's embark together to a road trip through the eastern part of the Peloponnese Peninsula up to the very beautiful historical town of Monemvasia. We will drive through a beautiful hilly landscape, mostly uh, cultivated with olive trees, on the national roads 39 and 86, discovering also some nice villages on the way, like um, Scala, Vlachioti, Vlachioti, or Molas, or Sikea. So prepare for a nice um, relaxing long drive, about 90 kilometers to cover in about 1 hour uh, 20 minutes. We start in uh, Sparta, just after we left um, the town center. For the drive through the center, please feel free to check also the drive from Kalamata to, to Sparta. Sparta is um, a new modern town built um, in the 1830s on the site of the famous ancient uh, town. It has a now a population of about 35,000 inhabitants and is a regional center here. The ancient Sparta was a prominent city-state in Laconia that uh, grew to become uh, the dominant military power by the year 650 BC. It was recognized as a leading force of the unified Greek army during the Greek-Persian wars and defeated Athens during the Peloponnesian war. This um, was the most glorious. Uh, this was the most glorious times of Sparta, as the city started to lose its importance uh, gradually afterwards, being conquered by the Roman Empire in the year 146 BC. Sparta was unique in ancient Greece for its uh, social uh, system and constitution. The laws were having the main focus on uh, maximizing the military power at all costs. Sparta remained inhabited also after the Roman conquest, but um, underwent a long uh, period of decline during the Middle Ages, when uh, many citizens moved to nearby, nearby Mistras. The modern-day Sparta was uh, built in the 1830s, after Greece became uh, independent, on the site of the ancient city. Bavarian city planners designed a city of uh, 100,000 um, inhabitants, based on the neoclassical architectural model. Today Sparta has wide streets lined with trees, with many neoclassical buildings in good condition, like the city hall dating from 1909. There are two very good museums in the town, the Archaeological Museum and the Olive and the Olive, um, the olive Tree and Olive Oil Museum, highlighting the culture of uh, olive and the technology of oil production. The ruins of ancient Sparta can be admired north of the city, so like you see one can easily spend a few days here in the region, um, as there are lots of things to see and do. Also Mistras is nearby, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, very impressive, and there are mountain trails leading to Mount Aigetos. And uh, from Sparta we are uh, hitting the road uh, further, we are driving um, for about uh, 20 kilometers on the National Road 39 that goes to Giteon. There are uh, great views to the imposing uh, Mount Aigetos on the right, on this section. Then we'll be leaving the National Road 39 in order to drive on the National Road 86. After a short uh, hilly section, we are descending to almost the sea level in the Evrotas Valley, where we'll cross also the villages of uh, Scala and Vlachiotis. And um, then after leaving the valley, comes another nice hilly area before descending to, to the sea level near Monemvasia. The last 10 kilometers of the drive being a great coastal ride with great views to the rock island where Mon Monemvasia lies. I personally enjoy the drive a lot and now let's admire the beautiful landscape of the Peloponnese with some music and I'll be back towards the end of the drive to say a few words about our destination, the beautiful fortified town of Monemvasia. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride!
strange now Dreams holding us closer Meadows of our youth A hundred and seven days But recalling it backwards Our dreams holding us closer
take it real soon
Hello once again, this time from Monenvasia. Hope you enjoyed the pleasant drive from Sparta as much as I did while driving there. And now let's say a few words about our destination, the town of Monenvasia, located on a small island uh, linked to the mainland by a short causeway that uh, we'll also drive on. The town has a long history, being founded in the year 583 by inhabitants of the mainland uh, Greece seeking uh, refuge from, uh, from the Slavic and Avars that invaded Greece back then. From the 10th century AD, the town developed into an important trade and uh, maritime center that uh, withstood uh, the Arab and Norman invasions in 1147. It was part of the Byzantine Empire until 1460 and uh, then part of Venice until 1540 being, together with uh, Nauplia, the last Venetian territory, territory in Greece. The town managed to maintain also its importance during the Ottoman rule, being part of Greece after 1821, being in 1822 the seat of the first National Assembly. During the last years, Monenvasia became uh, a tourist hotspot. The medieval buildings, um, most of them being uh, restored and converted to hotels, restaurants or souvenir shops, the medieval walls are also well kept, making Monenvasia an imposing fortress. The town is also famous for its wine, known as Malvasia, from the Italian name of the town. It is actually a wine grape um, variety that is now cultivated in many regions in the world, from Italy to USA, Madeira or Brazil. Personally visited uh, Monenvasia for about half a day. Unfortunately, it was very windy and I couldn't climb to the top of the rock, but enjoyed the lot, a lot to stroll through the medieval town. 100% pedestrianized area, no cars can go inside. That, uh, let's see, shot also some um, video clips. Now let's see them and I am now saying uh, bye bye to you. Stay tuned for more videos from our road trips here on the channel. Till the next time. Vinci, no?